Hello. Thank you for coming over. I will give you a tour of my house in Palea. Please follow me. It's very practical to have a storage chest near the sales bin. I see some delivered packages near it. All they are missing is the Amazon Smile logo. A fountain, a sun clock, and a telescope to watch the night sky. Here's a picnic area for kids to have some fun and snacks. I see some chapas are already taking advantage of the free food. Also two friends making a mud pie. How cute! My small farm with an area for visitors to get fresh veggies and fruit, also a place to sit and rest from farming. A cernic near the fountain is watching us. Easy access to water to fill up the watering can for the plants or take a break fishing. Here we have all the tools we need to process the produce easily accessible. Everybody needs a place to wash and dry their clothes. Let's check the workers' area, today is their day off, so no one is here now. Over there we have some area to prepare their food and repair the tools. Here is the outhouse and sink to always wash their hands after you know what. Here's the crafting area with the modification bench, the fabric loom and the workbench. Couldn't forget the storage chests. Here we have the break room to rest and eat. Nice, clean and uncluttered. If any of the workers needs to stay overnight, here's a cozy area to sleep and take a bath to soak and relax before bedtime. Let's go and check the interior of the house. Here's the first area, a place to have formal dinners and talk to guests. I find it hard to decide which is my favorite style of furniture, so I place a different style in each room. Instead of making a couple of very large rooms, I wanted to have small rooms with a different style and personality each. A courtyard to enjoy the outdoors. I like that little chapa fountain. This is my dragon tied family room, some sofas, chairs, a big fireplace to relax and read by, also, in the corner, a small home office area. Here is the game room. Here we can play video games, play the loot, cards, have a drink, play a game of chetsu or simply enjoy a book or solve crossword puzzles.
My fancy bathroom, furnished with the bellflower furniture, I really like how it turned out, there's a hot tub to relax, with room for more than one person. My girly room. I think this is my favorite color combination of the ones we have available, I hope they add more later. I managed to include a full bathroom in this tiny area, it turned out pretty nice, I wish they include some doors in the game for more privacy. The bath is ready. Let's check the rest of the house. Here we have my country kitchen with the ranch style furnishings. I had to place Reth's picture in the kitchen, right? The food makes the place feel lived in, is very pretty. We need to wash the dishes after eating. The cooking appliances here are mostly for decoration and to cook basic meals, my main kitchen is in a different area. Here we have a pretty porch and an area to escape the kitchen heat and take a break. We have also some herbs here easily accessible for cooking. My Moonstruck Studio Here I prepare my medicinal potions This is my favorite furniture piece I practice my spells here. It's a secret, don't tell anyone. One more full bathroom here. I like it. And here, are the bugs I collected. I finally succeeded catching the rainbow-tipped butterfly completing my collection. I had to place it in a special place all by itself. A patio to slow down and smell the flowers, I hope you are not allergic to pollen, especially fungus one. Here's my aquarium, where I display all the fish I caught, I still need three more to complete my collection. The big ancient fish at the center. The rays are my favorite, they have wonderful colors. I only need one more, the bat ray, that has proven difficult to catch.
The Emberborn bedroom, if you like it hot, this is the place. I had to add a new bedroom just to furnish it with this style, I love it. I wish they had more pieces. One more full bathroom in a small area. What do you think? Do you like it? The spooky candles look great here. Now I'll show you my cake party kitchen, come this way. This is my small cake party kitchen, for 5 or 6 people, has all the prep and mixing tables needed, the ovens and a couple of stoves to prepare other meals. The lamp posts by each table are color-coded to make it easy to know where to prepare each ingredient. I showed you my big cake party kitchen in my Halloween decorations video. Make sure to watch it. A table at the center to display some of the food prepared here. I finally caught the sushi recipe. Now I have all the recipes available up to now. Thank you for visiting. Don't forget to watch my other player house videos and hopefully get some ideas to decorate your own, if you do, let me know in the comments and give them a like and subscribe to my channel.